The evil that men do lives aft, while the good is oft interred with their bones. Have you heard that before? I've heard it. Yeah, that, that comes from Julius Caesar. That's kind of the problem I think we're seeing with law enforcement right now, is some of the good is being buried. And I can tell you, with that said, in the midst of this, there was a pretty big firestorm over on the other side of the lake. So one of my friends, another one of my friends, Deputy Thomas, John Thomas, he was over there, and he saved some people. We're going to show his story today. Yeah, and that's not an exaggeration to say that he saved some people. He only, not only saved them, he saved their lives. And he put himself in jeopardy doing it. That's what we do, and that's what we'll continue to do. And nothing's going to change the fact that we will continue to do the right thing at the right time for the right reason. No, agreed. And we don't, we don't share this with you to, to toot a horn, but we want you to realize that in the midst of so much news that feels bad and feels hurtful, there are still good things going on, uh, not just in law enforcement, but in fire service, because in this thing, story we're going to tell you about, both fire service folks and law enforcement officers were involved. I do what I do for the, what I've done for the last 30 years out of love, and I know Spencer does the same thing. This is a good story. Let's share it. Let's do. Can you confirm with fire if they have people just south of the nose that just started another fire? Just had a large flare up down here with a couple individuals running away. Copy. There's wind in your mic, 10 9. Ambulance to what location? Uh, about mile marker 17 after 68, for a 21 year old female that's burnt. Copy, can you advise condition? She's burnt all over. Uh, Copy. Life flight is en route 149 Central. Respond on LZ1. 49, copy. Relay to life flight, about 20% burn coverage and airway. She is conscious and breathing, Charlie.